Now that we have defined public speaking and explored the primary purposes for public speaking, let's take a look at the context. First one is academic context. By taking this course, as well as understanding this information in your college career, you are setting yourself up for success going and giving effective presentations and speeches in future courses and in academic contexts. Regardless of your major, you're likely to give numerous formal and informal presentations in your classes. These presentations might include giving a speech about a research project or teaching your classmates something new. You are also pitching a project proposal. You are also likely to be asked to participate in or even lead class discussions, role play different scenarios, and work in teams to solve problems and then share your findings and solutions with others. If you are involved in undergraduate, undergraduate research or plan to attend graduate school, you will also probably have an opportunity to share your research at an academic conference or delivering your paper or presentation. There are so, additionally, you might have opportunities to speak with other students as a campus combat ambassador, tour guide, or even deliver a commencement address at your graduation. Now let's take a look at personal context. Even though we might think of our personal lives as being private, there are many personal occasions that will call for both formal and informal public speaking. Some of the most meaningful speeches that are likely to give important milestones in our lives and the lives of our loved ones. For example, we might be asked to give a toast to celebrate the birth of a new family member, engagement or wedding, birthdays, anniversaries, there's so many. We might also be asked to give a short speech, introduction, something at a personal event. In addition to these formal speeches, we will also engage in a lot of informal public speaking as well, as we speak and interact with loved ones, discuss current events of the day at the family barbecue and dinner parties with friends, hold family meetings and participate in parent-teacher conferences. Now, let's take a look at the professional context. Public speaking is required component in nearly every workplace, and the ability to communicate effectively in your professional life is often one of the most important predictors of whether you will earn promotions and be allowed to take a greater responsibility over time. Some profession professionals and professions will require a lot of formal presentations, including business pitches, sales pitches, quarterly reviews, training sessions, and leading planning to meet leading planning meetings. Other roles will rely more on effective informal speaking, such as participating in meetings. Additionally, all professional contacts will require you to participate in interviews to determine whether you are a good fit for a specific role. Regular performance reviews to discuss how well you are doing as well as to set goals for an upcoming period of time. As you progress, as you progress in your career, it is also possible that you will be asked to give media statements and perhaps even deliver a keynote address at some point. As you consider the ways that you will engage in public speaking in the workplace, it is also important to think about the media that you will use for this communication. While workplace communication has traditionally taken place mostly in face-to-face -face context, the workplace is rapidly evolving and relying increasingly on digital communication and mediated formats. In many workplaces, you will work with colleagues on teams who are, are distributed across multiple geolab geographical locations and time zones and are more likely than ever to have an option to telecommunicate. The growth of the online communication tools offers numerous opportunities for enhanced professional speaking, but also brings an additional layer of challenges and constraints. Now, let's take a look at the public context. In our various roles in our local communities, each of us has a responsibility to participate in and contribute to the well-being of those around us and we will be called upon to speak in public context as we fulfill our responsibility to be engaged members of society. Depending on how you choose to engage with your community, you might need to speak up and participate in meetings for volunteer organizations, school boards, adv advocacy groups. You might also ask questions or share your views on important issues in town hall meetings or local government meetings. If you are advocating for an important cause, organization, policy, or candidate, it is possible that you will need to be part of a media story or news appearance where you will need to be able to speak concisely and persuasively about your position and the importance of action. 
Public speaking provides us one of the most powerful tools for educating others and for persuading people to consider different perspectives and experiences and to perhaps change their position and actions. In learning how to analyze pub possible positions and research, as speakers, we can strategically create messages and design presentations that will move others to action. We all have the power to educate and persuade through public speaking. And we have unique voices, social positions, experiences, and perspectives that should be heard and considered.